Today's mobility training tip, I'm gonna be kind of continuing on the theme of starting your morning correctly with some good foundational movement. Especially if you have maybe some low back issues like I've had previously, or just anything in your body where you just don't feel, you feel off, maybe off kilter, you're not activated right in the morning, you don't feel like you get up and you're like, man, I feel great, I feel perfect. You feel like you got that little bit of like, oh, I need to maybe get some stuff, some linkages, some parts of my body that are maybe asymmetrical, something that doesn't feel right. I like using this core exercise, bird dog, opposite arm, opposite leg type work to kind of engage myself and get my body symmetrical to fire to where I feel grounded and solid on two feet to then begin my training day or get into more diverse complex complex activities. So start in this all fours position, shoulders stacked over wrist. And we want to think about we're not here, but we're not here. We're just kind of in between. As we're looking down, we're balancing a glass of water on our neck and also on our tailbone here, okay? Hips stacked over knees. And I first start here by just lifting one leg at a time. And I'm doing this, I'm keeping that balanced in both places. I'm not trying to spill that glass of water. Now the tendency to want to maybe open your hip and compensate, it's not what we want. We're here, we're flat, we're balancing the glass here, and we're keeping it balanced. You might have some shift, but just keep bringing awareness to that. And you'll get stronger at it. Really feel this oblique engage, feel your glutes engage too. We're here, we do one arm at a time, and we don't just reach, 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 where this gets jammed up. We're reaching, but we're also anchoring the shoulder, getting the lower part of the shoulder, getting the serratus in this lower shoulder capsule to fire. We're there on both sides. Eyes uh, are still looking down. Then we get to the groovy part, where we're going opposite arm, opposite leg, we control it, control, control, control. Breathing. And then we lower and control slow. Again, make sure we're stacked. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, two, one. And on those, aim for about 10 seconds a side. Cycle as many as you feel comfortable with. Remember with this core type work, <clears throat> it's not about big numbers or long amount of time of doing it. It's about intense contraction, getting that muscle to fire in unison, you know, the different parts of the you know, body that are activated in that movement at the same time for maximal contraction. We build our endurance by doing sets of that. You do not want to build endurance with core work with doing just a 60 second hold. You can do a little test for uh, different, you know, to see your muscle endurance, but to actually build it, you want to deal in more high intensity contraction type style movements. So again, all fours, really just play with that throughout the day, reset your pelvis, and you'll find when you stand up, you start to move, you're gonna have a little more integrity, you're engaged through here. When you breathe, you're engaged, shoulders a little more back, your glutes are also a little more engaged. So guys, check that video out, Layer that in your morning, throughout your training day, to cure your core, to cure your stabilization, get yourself ready to be strong and resilient and vital. If you found this video helpful, show some love, throw a like button, hit that like, subscribe, let me know how it can help you on your journey to more vitality, more movement autonomy, and check out the ebook. I think you'll find some good, some good tidbits there. Thanks guys, you all have a good one.